What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the South Dakota Men YouTube channel. Meech is back in town for a little bit. Nick is over there. Today, we shot some doves in the last video. We're going to cook them up for you in this one. Stay tuned. Instead of just your typical dove, bacon wrap dove breast, we are going to make some dove pot pie. We don't know how well it's going to turn out, but we thought we'd try it as something different. If it turns out great, then you guys are very much welcome to copy this recipe. But first, we have to make a run to hell, or as I like to call it, Walmart, to get some pie crust and pie tins. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're at Walmart. We have to find some Pillsbury pie crust. Maybe over here. Not sure. Ready to bake. Two by nine pie crust. I mean, should we splurge and get the Pillsbury? Yes. Okay. Pillsbury pie crust. All right, babies. After like 20 minutes of walking around like absolute idiots, after asking, asking two store associates, we got the pie tins. Let's go to check out. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart. And so let's just run down the materials you're gonna need for this dove pot pie. So obviously, you're gonna need some dove. Hey guys, Nathan here. So uh, I forgot like 95% of the ingredients in this clip, so there will be an ingredients list on your screen like right about now. And then Nick is gonna make some bacon wrapped dove breasts for appetizers. So, stay tuned, we're going to get into it now. Nick is cutting up some bacon for his bacon wrapped up breast. Now, for the, for the recipe that we're making, we're making one pie, so, let me look on my phone here. For this recipe, you're going to need two cups of your chicken or dove breast. We're gonna, we're gonna do dove, obviously, because we're not gay. That's a lot of dove, not gonna lie. Like to that mark for one pie. All right, I see you. Sure, if you like meat, there you go. Cook it down. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Two cups of dove. That is what you get to work with. Wow. Here, put this right by the microphone. Are you guys ready for this? All right. So you have to pre-cook your dove breast before, so you can't just oh, stick. You have to. Well. Kind of. <laughs> You'll just get really yeah. medium rare, bloody chicken pot pie or dove pot pie. So we're gonna saute this up in a saucepan. So I have. So we'll grab a saucepan, right? I need a beaver <laughs> tooth and cut through this thing, man. <laughs> so now you're going to want to put this on the stove. Turn your burner on to, I'd say about an eight. We need some oil. Olive oil is preferable, if you have it. Extra virgin olive oil. You don't need that much. Chef, give me a bowl, dang it. You get your own bowl. I'm running my chef program that you're just laughing at. Yeah. Okay, and then just get your olive oil spreading around. Yeah, Caleb's gone, but we still use his house as base of operation. We'd like to give a shout out to Jamie and Paula Heisinger for letting us make messes in their house, even though their child is gone. They don't even let us, we just do it. Yeah, we just do it. Okay, there we go. Now we have our dove going, and you just kind of wait till they they start going, till it starts sizzling, then stir it around till they're done. Okay, so now follow me over here. So you're gonna need to wash your potato. So, what is this piece of actual garbage? Like, I am legit. Chuck, it's not a peeler, it's for cheese, you idiot. <laughs> Chuck, I told you to get a big potato for the reason. Pocket knife. Uh, Alright. Okay, anyways, we're just. Chuck, what? It's burning. Okay, we're just gonna turn this into like food channel kind of thing. Like, we don't, we're not gonna run the prep steps anymore. We're just gonna do like bunch of bowls and dump it together. Now you want to dice your potato like so. Boom! We want one cup of uh, cubed potatoes, so 
I'm gonna move Some this. Some of those are not cubes, chef. No, oh, rectangular prisms. Chef, you don't want massive tater chunks in a pie. Like, what do you know about freaking pies, all right? I'm starting to get sick of it. That's about one cup of potatoes. Now we got to go on to move on to our spices. You're gonna need thyme, salt, and pepper. <laughs> thyme, salt, and pepper. We're not chefs, okay? Lay off. Okay, guys, so, <laughs> so if I forget anything, right here, this is going to be all the ingredients with all the measurements. It's going to be a list right here. All right, one more time. Black pepper, salt, chicken broth, thyme, onions. You're going to need flour. I don't have that out yet. <laughs> You're going to need butter. What else? You're going to need milk. You need your meat. And then, like, mixed vegetables. Oh, my gosh, Nick. Why did you open these? <laughs> Is there a place? Oh gosh! Put it down, put it down. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! You're bringing all the crap out of yeah, it. Yeah, just keep it going, it's fine. As long as it's, <laughs> it's, not on it's fire. cleaning it. Yeah, it's, it's cleaning it. Fire. Okay, man, alright. Our dub breasts are done. We're getting there. We're we're working the kinks out as we go. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare the ingredients in their measured forms and I'll come back to you. It cannot be a cooking video without utilizing one of Paula's gadgets. Power Chopper XL, you have proved your worth. It does anti Look at Nick's noise. beautiful creation over here. This delicious. I ain't even gonna lie, Nick's actually looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. So we are going to need one teaspoon of dried thyme. TSP is, ta is teaspoon, right? Applicar. Wait, should I just put them right on the rack? Los Dovos. Holy gosh, it's still too hot. We'll go back. Second thing, one teaspoon of sol. Sol, is that actually, that's not. Sol is salt in Russian. Oh. What's wow. it in Spanish? I, talk in English. I can't remember. You just lay off, all right? I'm sick of it. So then you're gonna need a quarter plus an eighth teaspoon of pepper for all, this is all your seasoning, so. Half a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of salt, and then a um, and a quarter plus an eighth teaspoon of pepper. There was two cups here. How many is there now? Say one and a half. Probably. <laughs> we are literally like the opposite of like good kitchen like practices. <laughs> it's like almost still two cups. Mint. Such a satisfying noise. Yeah, it is. We should wow, just, that smells good. Mitch, we should do a gag where like for one scene we like go in Adobe and like do keyframe master and like edit so like you can take it and make it get rid of all the black and like put like another thing behind it. So that it, like it's like a green screen effect and <laughs> like anime or something behind it. So like every time it's black, it gets rid of it. Now I mean, the question is how much barbecue sauce actually absorbed into the dub breath? A lot. Probably wait, man. Wow! <laughs> the flames just engulfed my hand. So we have one cup of butter here. Wait, half a cup of butter here, because we're doing a half recipe for one pie. So you just want to stick that in a saucepan that you've got going at about medium heat, so like, I don't know, on a stove, probably like a four or five. You just want to get that. So you're going to want to get this butter all nice and melted. Pro tip guys, cut up your butter. Don't, don't just throw in a stick. Really? Yeah, pro tip from a pro. All right, then you're gonna want your one third of a cup of chopped up onions. Just throw those in there. So you just wanna stir these onions around so they're like brown and tender is the terminology. I should probably be reading the recipe while I'm doing this so I kind of have like a little bit of forethought because... Chef, I like how you guys can steal this recipe as you're literally stealing this. <laughs> like, oh, look at those meat. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. That looks pretty good. So now that you've got this to the point that your butter is all melty and your onions are like brown and tenderized, then you're going to want to add your half cup of flour Mix that in. This is what's known as a roux. 
which is the preform of gravy. It's kind of like a young gravy. Chicken this is like a thicker meat. one too. You can cook poultry medium rare. That is one thing I've learned. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. The funny thing is, some people will be like, "Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, okay." All right. So then, this is one and a half cups of chicken broth and three quarters of a cup of milk, and you just want to. You just want to slowly wow. incorporate this. That actually looks professional right there. I sometimes know what I'm doing. Eh. <laughs> we gotta add the seasonings. Grab I'll them. Do it. And then all your seasonings, the measurements that I told you earlier. So now this is really liquidy. So we want it to be like a gravy consistency. So you want to bring this up, bring up your heat, and bring it to a boil. But you have to stir it constantly, otherwise your milk will burn at the bottom of the pan. I, I do. I may not act like it, but I do know a little bit about cooking. You can set melt those on pans those on. The, really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You don't have to have anything under. Because we have soapstone countertops. Wow. I, see, I don't live in luxury like that, Jamie. You're just gonna want to add the rest of your stuff to this mixture. So you're gonna want to add your potatoes. Okay. So we essentially want just two cups of vegetables. Okay. And then you want to dice up your dove breasts so it's in a little bit more. Like manageable pieces here. Alright, so now these are all pretty much cut in half. So you want to add these as well. So there you go. That actually. That looks like pot pie pot inside. Pie inside. There you go. Alright, so now we have to prepare our pan and such. So we will scoot over there. Alright, guys, so now we are now we are over there. Okay, so you want to do. You can make your own pie, pie uh, crust, more power to you if you choose to, but. We didn't feel We're like lazy. We're gonna set the code amendment late. <laughs> Whoa! Don't say that. We don't speak blasphemy. Disrespected us. Look at that. Look how simple and easy that was. Look at this. You don't need to make your own. It's how you want to. It's actually starting to look like a pie. We got a bait lord out there. What? <laughs> Rapid. There we go. All right, guys. So we have to fold these edges over, but one thing that's very important on pies, you have to make sure it can breathe. Shall yeah, it can it's breathe. Like let out the escaping gases. Yeah. And you can go for style points here if you want, but we don't want. So watch the steel when you go like this. I feel like you're gonna ruin my pie, Paula. Watch I'm it gonna get the knife. And start cutting this. Did like, I cut it flush with the metal? No. Uh, flush yeah. with the metal. Like that? Is that good? Yeah. Oh, that actually looks pretty good, Chad. I know. It looks like a pie. All right, Paula's got Paula's got a life hack for us. Let's see it, Paula. We're gonna put Let's these see. In the what do you think? Style points. Style. Yeah, we are getting wicked style points here. Oh, jeez, that is the danger. Sharp metal edges are not a friend to pie. Like from start to oven, it's like half an hour, and we've been at this for literally two hours. So now we're waiting for the oven to preheat. We're gonna do some dishes and come back and we put the pie in. We're putting the pie in the oven. We're using a baking tin lid, apparently, just in case it like, starts boiling over, but. Man, all right, now you bake that 35 to 40 minutes or until lightly brown. So we'll catch you guys in 35 to 40 minutes. So it's been in the oven about 38 minutes, so we're gonna take her out and let it sit and cool. You don't really want to cut it open when it's super hot like this, because then your filling is just gonna be like really liquidy. So you let it out, let it cool for let it cool for about 10 minutes or so, and it'll be ready to serve. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you very much for being for supporting the channel. And I do have a question for you guys. Like if we make another t-shirt design, I mean, would you guys be willing to buy it. We could do t-shirts and sweatshirts that have to be like pre-order type stuff. But we've, we've been thinking about new designs and so yeah, just let us know. Um, probably do an Instagram post when we have the design kind of finalized, see if you guys like it or not. But yeah, just a, just a little bit of premonition for you. So we'll come back in about 10 minutes when this pie is ready to serve. Just in time for supper. All right, boys, time to serve it up. Make sure see, see if it's runny or not. You guys ready for like the least satisfying pie video ever? Ooh. The doubter, you eat first. Yeah, doubter. The doubter. 
I don't know what's up. There's vegetables in this. I don't like pot pie that just like falls apart. Pot pie should be rigid in my opinion. Boys want some milk. Yeah. That was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. You know, honestly, it kind of just been normal pot pie. Yeah. Which is good. Which normal, is good. normal is good, chap. Normal pot pie is good. All right, guys. First impressions, very good. It's, it's, I mean, in all honesty, you can't truly, really tell if there's dough in it. Like, it's just kind of your standard pot pie. I mean, which is, which isn't bad in the sense you don't want it to taste like a barn. for us, chap. Yeah, like you don't, you don't want it to taste like a barnyard or something. So, no, I think the dough tastes good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you get a big enough piece of dough. You gotta get the bread. It's key. You can definitely tell it's in there. Gravy's good too. I would, I would eat this a lot. Ten out of ten would make again. Ten out of ten would make again. It's good. We're gonna say. I mean, we if we were to make it a second time, we'd be more prepared. So I think it'd go smoother. But I, it turned out good for what we did. So. Shop. It's more fun when you have to. Shop. We mm -hmm. have to include our little butter for the outro. Mm -hmm. Got it. Go get. It. We'll be right back. <laughs> Can't get the reflection. Yeah. Champ is here in spirit, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Real South Dakota, man. It's good to have all of the boys back in town. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Real South Dakota, man. New schedule every Friday. Catch you guys then.